G'day, my name's Chris Thompson and I'm the Associate Dean Education here in the Faculty of Science. And this is going to be a really short welcome video specifically designed to make sure you get your enrolment right the first time. So I'm going to talk you through some of the different bits of terminology and the structure of what your course looks like with a specific focus on the first year of your course. So there's all sorts of terminology, there's units, there's course, there's majors, there's minors, there's sequences with credit points. So let's go through each of these one at a time. So here is a bit of a roadmap or a bit of a structure, if you like, of what the first year of your course is going to look like. You can see that we've got some subjects or units as we call them, which are science subjects. And there's also the opportunity to do some electives in your course. Each of these units is worth six credit points. And so in a calendar year, if you're a full-time student, you will do eight of these, which is six times eight, that's 48 credit points. In the first semester, you'll do 24. In the second semester, you'll do another 24. Now, as a new student, you must enrol full-time. You can adjust that later if you need to. After three years, you'll eventually populate your course with something that looks a bit like this. So you must do at least 16 out of the 24 units in the field of science from our science units. Now it might be that you just love science and that's all you want to do and you'll do 24 science subjects. But you also have the option of doing some electives from anywhere else just about in the university. But let's focus on the science. Every single science student will specialise in a particular area and we call this doing a major. So if you do a major in physics, for example, you must do a minimum of eight units in the field of physics. And some of these will be at the first year level, some will be at the second year level, and then you specialise at the third year level. You can also complete a minor. And so, as you can see, you can probably fit in that major in physics, but you might also want to do a minor in, I don't know, applied maths or something like that. So you can fit that in as well as long as you fulfil the other basic requirements of the course. Well, these majors and minors, it's a long list. There are 25 different areas that you can specialise in in your course. And if you have a look at the list here, there's probably a few things you've heard of. There's probably a few things you've never heard of as well. So now is the time for you to be looking through the handbook, which I'm going to show you in a moment, which gives a bit of a description to these different areas. Some of them overlap with VCE topics or your high school topics, but some of them might be areas that are new to you. So it's worth having a bit of a look around. Now, focusing on that first year. So we've got two semesters, the first half of the year and the second half of the year, and you'll enrol in four units per semester. Every unit has a code. So every single subject that you'll be enrolling in has a code a bit like this. So the example I'm showing you here is BIO1011. You won't be surprised to learn that that's first year biology. Pretty self-explanatory. A pair of units are often put together as a sequence. And you can see here I'm showing you EAE1011022. That's our Earth, Atmosphere and Environment theme. Bit of environmental science, bit of geology, a few volcanoes, things like that. They put these two units together to make a coherent set of units. We call that a sequence. Every single science student must do two level one, in other words, first year sequences in their course. You'll probably do these in the first year. Now I'm going to show you a quick video here of the handbook. This is the source of truth. Go to Google, plug in Monash Handbook 2020. Make sure you go to 2020 because they've updated it this year. Now you can search for your course. You could plug in science, you'll bring up all sorts of stuff. So I recommend going with the course code. So S2000 is the straight Bachelor of Science, or if you're in one of our other courses, use that course code to bring up the right course. So we're going to focus on Bachelor of Science, S2000, and here you'll find the handbook entry. Scroll down the page, you'll find all sorts of information such as location, in other words, Australia or the Malaysia campus, the way that it's offered, the learning outcomes for the course. Click on these drop downs, you'll see the full learning outcomes. And then we get to the structure. So the handbook will show you what parts there are to the course. There are course rules and there are things that you must do to fulfill the requirements of the course. Here you can see that you have to do some level one sequences, you must do a maths and a stats unit, and you must do a certain number of level two and level three units. 
Part B is the areas of study, or if you like the majors and the minors, and you can see there's a long list of these things. There's a separate drop down for the extended majors and then another drop down for all of the minors. So have a good look through these. Let's have a look at an example. Let's go with uh, chemistry. So if we bring up the chemistry area of study entry, you can see the learning outcomes for chemistry specifically, the requirements that you need to fulfill to make sure that you've Finish that chemistry major properly. Click on any of the units, you'll bring up the handbook entry for the unit itself. This is the subject. In this case, we're looking at sustainable chemistry, shows you the workload requirements, how many lectures do you have a week, uh, are there any additional costs for the unit. So you can see the handbook has got everything. Finally, where you can do your electives and progression on to further study, so our other master's courses. So that's the handbook, a very, very fast and rapid introduction, but it is the source of truth. So for any information about any of our courses, any of our majors or any of our units, go to the handbook. So I did mention that you can also fulfill your course with a number of electives. Up to 48 credit points can be taken from units just about right across the university. That's a small number of units you can't do but have a look again through the handbook to look at some of the options. It might be that you're interested in, I don't know, media, languages, marketing, commerce, some engineering on the side, art subjects. It's completely up to you. So once again, go to the handbook and have a look around. So after three years, you will hopefully have fulfilled your course and it'll look something like this. But for the time being, there's only one thing that's important, and that is getting your first year enrolment spot on. So just focus on those eight units to get your enrolment locked in, and then you can focus down the track on what you will eventually major in. Really important point to finish on. You do not need to lock your major in at the beginning of your course. Try a few things in the first year, and then towards the end of the first year, you'll start working that out. Good luck.